Hello everybody and welcome to a new video, to a new Ross questions and answers video. So in the video of today I'm going to be answering this question here I found in Ross answers which has been published lately and it says adding takeoff and landing into the teleop twist keyboard.py script. So basically what he wants to do is to add the keys 1 and 2 to mean takeoff and land respectively. Okay, so let's have a look at this and, and let's see how we can do this uh, very easily. So for that I'm going to use RDS as always. So I'm going to the RDS website and in this case I'm going to select obviously the drone simulation. Yes, because he wants to work with a drone, obviously. Yeah. So let's use this drone simulation, let's launch it and wait a few seconds until the wall environment loads. And here we have the simulation, the drone simulation. Excellent. So, yeah, let's have a look first. I'm going to execute the regular, the regular teleobtwist keyboard as it is right now. And so let's try this teleobtwist keyboard. Teleobtwist keyboard.py. Excellent. So yeah, at this point. Let me show you my keyboard so you can see what I am uh, clicking at it each moment. Yeah. So as you can see now, if I try to move this, I can't. Yeah, because I have the drone in, in the ground. So before I start moving it, what I need to do is to uh, take it off. Yeah. And for that, I can, for instance, publish into the drone takeoff topic which uses standard messages empty yeah so now if I execute this command if I publish into this drone takeoff topic the drone as you can see takeoffs okay now I can actually move the drone as you can see yes by uh, using the regular keys for the keyboard teleop script. Yeah, excellent. So now I can publish into the land topic. Oops, in order to make it land. There it is. Let's move it back here. Excellent. So let's uh, let's stop this. Yeah. So yeah, I have basically the same situation at this point that he has. Yeah. So he says I am currently having to run separate terminal to make the uh, boop the drone land and take off. So here, I, in order to land and take off the drone, I have to publish in a separate terminal into the correspond, corresponding topics. And then I can use the keyboard teleop script. Yes, here. But first I need to land it, to take, take it off, sorry, in this case. Okay, so let's do something in order to put everything, all of this together. So for that, Let's create a, a very simple package here. Let me uh, minimize this for a moment. Okay, so let's go to my workspace, which is shown here in the IDE. I'm going to create a, a very simple ROS package, which I'm going to call custom teleop, for instance. Yeah, now it will appear here. 
there we have it, custom teleop. So let's uh, here create a new folder, which I'm going to call source. And now let me go to the library. Set up twist keyboard, and here I can find the script. Install it in the in the library. So in the lib uh, in this lib folder. So let me copy this, and I'm going to move it to my workspace. Yeah. So now it will show up here. My script. There you have it. Excellent. So now let's just copy it and paste it into my source folder. There you are. So now I have it here inside the source folder of my package. I have the teleoptoist keyboard.py script. Yeah? So now I can delete this one without problem. Now just let me make sure that it is executable. Okay, so I'm going to add executable uh, permissions. You can do it like this, chmod plus x. Now it will have, as you can see, uh, execution permissions for every user. Excellent. So I have my package set up. So now I can go to have a look at the code and see what I can do here. Yeah. So it is, uh, it is quite a, a simple code. As you can see, I have here a couple of dictionaries with some uh, keys and values associated to each key. Yes, so this is a dictionary, a Python dictionary. And here I have uh, yeah, pairs of keys with uh, values associated. Yeah. Then here I have a, a simple function to capture the key that is being pressed, which returns this key. Then, uh, yeah, here I have uh, here I have my main function where, as you can see, it creates a, a, the node and it creates the publisher to the command bell topic. Yes, and then here, basically, what I'm doing is check which key is being pressed. Yes, as you can see, I'm checking which key is being pressed. And then, depending on the key that is being pressed and the values that are associated here in the dictionaries to that key, I am publishing here the values to the common vel topic. Yes? And then here I have a final. So when the program ends, it will publish uh, zero to all the twist values. All right, so as you can see, it's quite simple. So let's uh, do a couple of modifications in order to handle the land and the takeoff inside here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add a couple of publishers here. Yes, so now I have just one publisher that will publish into the command bell topic. So I'm going to add another one for taking off, which I'm going to call, let's say, pub2. And this one will publish, of course, in the drone takeoff topic. Yes, which if you, if you remember is the one I published it to in order to take off the drone. Yeah, drone takeoff. So let's create one publisher for this. And in this case, this topic uses the empty message. So I'm going to put here the empty message. Then let's repeat this for the land topic. Let's call this one pub3. And let's modify here the topic to drone land. Yes, this topic here, drone land. Excellent. So yeah, let's finally do one more thing here. I'm going to create a message, an empty message instance. Let's call it empty underscore message. And this will basically create an instance of the empty message. Yes. And for this, for in order to be able to use this here, I will have to import the empty message. 
Yes, don't, don't forget this. So let's come here. Here, as you can see, it is importing the twist message. So let's uh, do the same for the empty message. I'm going to import here from the standard messages package, the message directory, I'm going to import the empty message. Yes, there we are. So yeah, I'm importing here the empty message and then here in the main function, in the initialization of this function, let's say, I'm creating two publishers, one for the drone takeoff topic and another one for the drone land topic. And finally, I am creating this uh, an instance, a variable for this empty message. Yes, excellent. So now, what I what I will do is to add here the the ifs in order to handle the keys one and two. Yeah. So let's add here an elif. One, I'm going to add two leaves. Yeah, there we are. So, else if key, as you can see, key here is this is the variable where the key that is pressed is stored. Yeah, so else if key is, let's say, one. And else if key is two. Okay? So if the key pressed is one, let's publish a message into this pub to uh, uh, publisher. Yeah? So let's publish a message into the drone takeoff topic. So if the key is one, Let's do a pub2 dot publish and what we'll publish is an empty message. Yes, and if the key pressed is two, let's do the same but for the pub3 publisher. Yes, which is the drone, which will publish into the drone land topic. Yes, so if I press the key one, I will publish into the drone takeoff topic, so the drone will take off. If I press the key two, I will publish into the drone slash land topic, so the drone will land. Okay? Yeah, let's do a couple of prints here in order to, for instance, let's print here the key that is being pressed. Yeah, so we will be we will visualize better this, and let's add here. Press it, key one, and press it, key two. Okay. So let's test this script very easily. Uh, let me again show you what I am using here. I will put it right here. So let's execute again the teleop to keyboard script. There we are. So now I'm going to press the one key so the drone should take off. Okay? You will see now here how the the number one is highlighted. So I'm going to press the key one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, nothing is uh, is changing because why? Well, let me minimize this again. Yeah, it is because I am executing the 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 script from the Teleop Twist keyboard package. Yeah, so I'm not using my script, so obviously nothing will 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 change. Yeah? So okay, yeah, let's uh, we will have to execute, of course, our modified script. So Ross run 
custom teleop and teleop twist keyboard dot pi okay now yes now i am launching my modified script yeah so there we are excellent now let's repeat it i'm going to press the key one and as you can see the drone has taken off yes if i press the key here it is printed also press at key one so i'm going to press now the key two and the drone lands yes press at key two so let's press again the key one it takes off and two it lands yeah so now with just executing this script i can take off my drone i can move it around as well nothing changes so i can still uh, use the regular keys for the for the teleop keyboard script yeah but now i can also take off and land my drone with the same script yeah there we are so yeah that's it i hope it this video has helped you and i hope you have learned how to add the landing and take off the drone to the script and please if you have liked the video leave a like subscribe to the channel we'll continue publishing content like this and throwing questions we see interesting in 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 forums so yeah goodbye and see you in the next video